you. Thank you. So I, I wanted to have this discussion so you understand that A, what you're going through is similar to what others are going through. You're not alone. You're not going crazy. I would say some of the biggest symptoms right now that uh, you're feeling, in, in spite of this, wow, I'm making some progress, things are really changing, but you're probably noticing intense bitchiness, irritability, agitation, a, l a tremendous amount of agitation, just like about, about the outside world in particular, uh, where you used to be able to find certain levels of happiness or joy with the outside world. Now it's like having no desire to go there. As a matter of fact, you, you say to yourself, well, I'm supposed to be a nice spiritual person. You can let that go, but you still <laughs> – you could st – by the way, that is a, an oxymoron. You, if you're a spiritual person, you're not going to be nice. And, uh, wow! And, <laughs> wow. But nice means uh, playing a big game with yourself, and it's actually the, the nice girl, nice boy syndrome means you're playing into or appeasing everyone else. Uh, when you truly allow for your enlightenment, you're not nice anymore. You have no tolerance. You, you're impatient with other people. It, you, it's not that you're going to be aggressive with them, but when you feel they're doing energy feeding, Caldred, did he hear that? When, you, <laughs> when, when there is a situation you used to just grin and bear it, now you're just going to walk away. And it's not that you're going to uh, uh, try to um, uh, combat or hurt the other people, but you used to have absolutely no patience. So irritability, impatience, bitchiness, it's very natural. It for where you are right now. Uh, no, you, it doesn't mean you need to be aggressive with <laughs> others. But it, particularly in, the, I, I would say, since the first of the year, but really intensifying over the last few weeks, that sense of absolute irritability. Ir crank, you call it cranky or, or whatever. Just because you're shifting away from the old energy, the old world. And and you're in a space now where not knowing what to do, what comes next. So you're in a place of kind of boredom. It makes you even more irritable. Yes, please go out and work in the yard or <laughs> do something. But you're finding that uh, to, to be in public is very challenging these days. Uh, and, and as Tobias used to say, that too will pass. But you're just oh, – thank God. Yeah. Um, but you're going through that, that time. You don't even want to go to the shopping. Uh, to the grocery store. You could be starving, and you'd rather <laughs> not go to the store. Yeah. So what do you do? You call pizza delivery, and you leave an envelope out front on the doorstep. <laughs> Don't talk to me. It's that strange lady in that strange house. <laughs> she doesn't come out anymore. So let's take a good deep breath. And we bring this up because I know so often you're thinking, well, I shouldn't be this way. Everything should be happy and, and uh, like sugar plums. No, that's the toughest part. That's the really tough part. Tremendous irritability. Uh, so when we can laugh like this, uh, when you could just work in the yard or go for a drive or something like that, that's, that helps relieve some of it. But Right now it's just part of this uh, transition. What's the cure for it? Like, what, what can we do to calm it? What can you do? That's a good question. Well, I've got a few minutes. What can you do? A, accept it. Uh, B, stay away from other people, please. <laughs> okay, here's Shambhur's suggestions. Drink. <laughs> okay. Actually, there is some um, Scientific merit in moderation, please. <laughs> moderation, a glass of wine, uh, it'll get you out of your own butt for a little bit. Uh, the a physical, light physical exercise uh, is good for this. Um, laughter of any kind is, is good. Laughter is really good. What else? What other suggestions? Take a bath. You're talking to me? <laughs> oh, oh, take a <laughs> Yes. Take a, a bath, a wonderful thing with what? Sea salt. Sea salt, absolutely. What else? Yeah. A massage is good. Just make yes. sure 
the uh, massage person is not an energy feeder. Uh, how, how do you, how can you tell? How you feel afterwards, but you can also make it energetically very clear right away, no feeding. Yeah. Good. What else? What else do you do for the irritable symptoms? Breathe, sleep a lot, sleep a lot. But have you noticed that even in your sleep you're irritable? Yes. <laughs> you get a bitch dreams, yeah. And sometimes you're so happy to wake up because that dream was so aggravating. You just can't, just can't get away from yourself anymore. <laughs> Chocolate, good. What else? A exercise, music, absolutely. Good. All of these things. But just remember yeah, the acknowledgement that you're just going to be irritable, especially with other people. Stop pretending. Stop trying to paste on that face and be nice to your family when you know what you really want to say. And uh, just doesn't mean you need to be hostile. It means to set your own boundaries.